one, take two, take three. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're doing story time, period. That's what we're doing today. My eyes feel dry AF, but y'all, I took a shot before I started this video, so I don't think I should have did that. I should have just waited. So this story time is about the time i really don't know what the f happened um <laughs> honestly honestly i don't i don't know what possessed me to put myself in this kind of situation i don't know but i really didn't even put myself that was my daughter she's in her room um i'm a mom i have a two-year-old daughter so two year two-year-old daughter um so if you hear sudden burst of randomness it's my lively daughter um sorry um but yeah so let's get into it i guess if you're wondering why i have a hoodie on it's because i keep it extremely cold in my house and um this is what i have on that's it stop asking questions <laughs> um this is very random you're gonna ask yourself why the f is she talking about buses why or why is the topic of buses funny what do buses have to do with this story? A lot. Let's get into this. I know my energy right now might not be hyped up, but I'm trying to calm myself down because this like video took a lot for me to do. Like I wasn't even gonna do this. <sighs> I'm trying to make this make sense. Please just hang in there with me. Um, so when I moved to Louisiana, right, and I went to the school, I'm not going to say the name of the school because y'all are detectives. I'm not going to get into too much detail, y'all. So I lived at a certain area. If you know me, I do not do well with directions. I do not do well with like, I'm just very ditzy sometimes. So like, yeah. So where I lived, we had a bus. My bus number was 48. And um, this bus took like a several like several streets back to back to back, and then on the street before me, it didn't take that street. So that street had a, a separate bus, so probably like bus number forty-seven, and th that bus took streets back to back to back. You get what I'm saying? So um, I never had to go behind my house for anything. Like I never, we never drove that way. We never went to get anything that way. We never did anything that way like I didn't even I had friends back there but like I never went to their houses nothing like that so I didn't even really know like what was back there so that at the end of the school day they would announce on the announcements you know how people have released announcements they would announce on announcements you know what bus you get on if your bus isn't there so if your bus driver took a day off or something bad happened or they just didn't come in however it goes um they will say on announcements like yo they won't say that but <laughs> bus 48 is out and you got to take this bus or that bus right i always listen to that because i'm like i don't know where i'm going so of course i have to listen to the announcement so we're listening to the announcements and they're telling us because there was a bad blizzard coming i mean not blizzard a uh, storm there was a bad storm coming and the people announced was like it's a bad storm coming um we have a couple of buses out we're gonna tell you guys what buses you need to take because we have to split three buses up into different buses okay so she's saying she's she called my bus but i have in the fucking background arguing with the teacher about a detention man please shut the fuck up trying to figure out what to have and one of my friends is like can you please be quiet she was still talking so i had to get her to shut up and even by the time she shut up it was already on to the other bus so i didn't hear it so i asked my teacher can i go downstairs early to um ask the people right and so i go downstairs to ask the person and no she lets me out early i'm sorry guys the lady lets me out early and i'm walking down the steps but before i can even get down the steps the bell rings they run the bell early before i can get to the person somebody was fighting somebody's wig came off the police officers and the cops were rushing towards the area and the people who i was supposed to go talk to they were bum rushed by all these kids because obviously the kids didn't know where they were going just like me and so the dude i couldn't even say nothing to the guy who was directing me everything i was like um excuse me he was like oh yeah you go to this bus i didn't even tell him like anything he just directed me to a bus not even knowing where i was supposed to go so maybe i looked like somebody he thought i already talked to him or something like that whatever so i got on this bus 
before I got on the bus, I'm sorry, I'm just all over the place. I should not have taken that shot. <laughs> um, before I got on the bus, I was trying to look for kids that look like the kids that were on my bus. And I thought I saw this dude because, you know, you can have, okay, we wore a uniform in our school. And like, so everything was uniform. Everything was like, everybody looked the same. Basically, you know, the only way that you would be different if you wore new shoes or you had a new book bag. But the guy that usually rides my bus, he had a specific book bag with his initials on it. And so I thought that that was him who I was following onto this bus. So I'm like, okay, I'm cool. I'm straight. Even though I didn't tell this guy that like, this is where I live and he directed me to this bus. I see somebody that I know that looks familiar, right? So I get on the bus. So I'm like, okay, I'm chilling, right? I'm just like, okay, cool because the dude that I was following usually when he's on my bus he gets off a stop right before my stop so I'm like yeah I'm chilling like I'm good I'm gotta worry about nothing the bus starts moving <laughs> and it starts going and the first stop the dude that I follow got off on that stop and I'm like what the fuck is going on and I'm looking around I'm like hold on this can't he must have been either and I'm trying to like get his attention, I'm like, excuse me, excuse me. He's just getting off the bus because he has his earphones in, right? And he doesn't even know who I am because it's the wrong guy. Like, this is not even the guy that rides my bus. So I'm like, damn, now I'm really fucked because I'm looking at all these people. I'm like, damn, I don't know who these people are. I don't know where I'm going. The, the worst that the bus can do is like turn around and go back to the school, but it was like a bad storm. So they were trying to get everybody out the school and close the school down. They canceled all the um, after school activities because if they didn't, then I would have been cool because I would just stay, but they would they like sent everybody home. So I was on the bus, so I'm looking around, trying to figure out what's going on. And I didn't want to like text my mom because like I didn't want her to feel like trying to just like not come home because I was in a whole bunch of like activities after school and stuff like that. So, um, but she told me specifically to get home this day to, um, do something so like i didn't text her yet because it was still i still had a good enough time to like get home if that makes sense like the time that it was when i was still on the bus was still enough time for me to be like oh i'm on the bus if i was going home on my regular bus so yeah <laughs> i feel like i just jumbled out a whole bunch of words um so I'm still on this bus and I'm looking around trying to see who I, who I can find. The bus driver's getting aggravated. He done told like five people to shut the fuck up and sit the fuck back already. So if I sit here and tell this man that I don't know where I'm at and this is the wrong bus, he probably is going to curse me out. And then that's going to lead me to curse him out. And like, I just don't want to do that. So, and I recognize this girl and I turn, I still turn around after I recognize her because I'm like, okay, yeah, this girl never talks to me. And we're like, we both are in this specific after school program. And in this after school program, we never talk. So I'm not going to ask her anything now that I need help. <laughs> and she's like, um, are you looking for something? You look real lost. Like I was like, because I am, I don't know what bus this is. And I don't want to have to curse this guy out because he seems rude. She was like, he is rude. I sick. I'm tired of this bus. I hate this, but she was like, where do you need to go where do you live and I was like honestly I could just tell you the street because I can't tell you by like going down the street I could just tell you the street she was like oh okay she was like you know what just come and stay by me and come by me until like your mom comes to get you or something and I was like okay that sounds cool so I text my mom right before like we stop because we get off we go to her house and in this specific curricular activity like, I would never think that she lived in the house that she lived in. Um, because of how she, like, acted, how she dressed, how she, like, conducted herself. I wouldn't have thought that, like, this is the lifestyle that she lived. So, when I saw that, I was like, okay. See, but we never talked to each other in our after-school program. So, it was just weird for me because, like, we're in this after-school program where we kind of do all have to come together sometimes. And, like, she hangs out with her group of friends and I hang out with my group of friends and then it's just like that, like we've never really exchanged words. So I see the house, I'm like, oh, you have a nice house. And she was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and so we go inside and I, that's exactly my like expression. I wasn't stuck just then, I just, that's how I was. Like my face was just, I was, I was, I was lost. Um, it felt like walking into Narnia. What is it? The Avengers to Narnia? The closet of Narnia? The inside was a wreck. It was a mess. It, I felt like it was a pre-episode from like hoarders when they cleaned everything out. 
like if hoarders had a TV show where they showed you what the inside looked like after they dragged everything out, but did it clean it, that's what it looked like. And I was just like, no. This explains it then. <laughs> I was like, this is ex this explains, this is matching up to what you, how you are. Like what you look like, what you act like, this right here. So I walk in and she's like, um, do you need like anything? Like, do you want some water? Do you want some like snacks? I have water and have snacks. And we're walking into her house, right? And she opens up the fridge. Okay, now in any house, there's gonna be old food in the fridge. It's destined to happen. But if your fridge is looking like this, don't invite me over. I don't wanna eat there. I don't wanna know. I don't want to, I don't want anything. Don't, please don't sell no plates. People be selling plates and their fridges be looking like that. And I can't do it. Why, why would you do something like that? Why would you do something like that to me? I didn't deserve it. I really didn't. I didn't deserve that. <laughs> and she's and I'm looking in the fridge because like she has a wide open like that's normal. My mom would have a heart attack if my fridge was like that. And we didn't even have as nice as ever as a fridge. And um, it just looked like death. And like they had Kool Aid, and the lid was like halfway sunken in the Kool Aid juice, halfway on the Kool Aid jar. <laughs> I thought I saw something move, it made me itch. And I'm, she's like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm just getting a little hot. She's like, oh, I'll turn on the air. You know, it's nothing, my, my parents don't. And that's and that was something that was like sketchy. I should knew something was sketchy. She was like, you know, my parents won't trip over that stuff. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like, was that like a, was that a, were you trying to be racist? Are you trying to say that black people don't let their kids touch the air conditioning? Because it's true, but, um, <laughs> so my parents don't care about, care about that stuff. I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> so, okay, we get deep into her house. She shows me her room. Y'all, I almost ran out because I don't do, I'm very, I'm not going to say I'm spiritual, spiritual. But I don't do certain stuff. Like, if I see that number, y'all know what number I'm talking about, all over the walls. Then you got Screamo posters. Then it's looking like, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Like, it was just, it was giving me, it was giving me, like, reverse Paramore. It was giving me, like, Paramore from the dead. Like, it was giving me, I don't even know, because I don't even listen to that stuff. But y'all... Cause I like Paramore, but like if Paramore was like reverse with like some satanic type shit, that's what I felt like. And I was just like, mm, mm, I don't like this. So, but I'm still there with my dumb ass. <laughs> and she's like, is everything okay? And I'm like, yeah. I was like, you know, I just text my mom. She'll be here and stuff like that. Y'all, it's so quiet in this house. And that's the key thing. It was so motherfucking quiet in this house. There could have literally been nobody there. I promise y'all. But yeah, y'all, I don't play with that like that dark stuff i don't do that so when i saw that because i'm a scary movie fanatic until like she gets real like i felt like she was getting real <laughs> so she's moving around her room but she's like moving around me like she's making me like the way that she's moving is making me move like more inwards of the room so yeah i'm hearing this noise and i'm like uh-uh like it's too loud to be out from outside but it's too like faint in a way like not too faint but like it was just it was it sounded like it belonged outside but it was inside because it was too loud to be outside and so i'm like um do you hear that like in kind of like a you know calm way she's like oh my gosh i'm so fucking mad at my mom she freaking didn't even close this box i'm like what box because i'm like she probably she probably didn't even put it back it's probably let out i'm like what the fuck is let out because <laughs> i don't do it she was like it's cricket she was like don't mind it it's crickets um I use these crickets to feed my whatever, like whatever she was trying to say that she had her pet. And um, she was like, yeah, and now I gotta go find it because my mom was supposed to put it away. And usually during the day, you know, fun fact, when cricket, when you put crickets in a box and you leave the box open a little bit, they won't hop out where the light is because they like the dark. And um, the brave ones will though, the brave ones will hop out. And when those hop out, my animal goes and gets it. Um, she had a snake and um, I don't do snakes. I'm not scared of snakes, but if I would've sat on her bed and a snake got on me, 
Whew. I, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. <laughs> So she was like, now I have to go get it. And I was like, okay, please go get it, bitch, because I don't want to have to go get it. I don't want to step on it. I don't want to be nowhere near it. Please go get it. Like, that's fine. She was like, do you want anything? Do you want a drink? Do you want a snack? I'm going to bring her some drinks and some snacks. I was like, cool. So she comes back up. She was like, I got it. It's in this downstairs cage. I'm like, is this one at this? I'm like, people really be taking their animals seriously because if this thing got an upstairs cage, downstairs cage, this might as well be paying rent and living here like an actual person. That's probably why the inside look like this, like the jungle or something because mm -mm. anyway so she brings up this when she went downstairs key part i heard water running if you know me i don't drink faucet water and i would advise you not to either um living in louisiana they had like this outbreak where there were like amoebas in the water and it was like eating people's brain cells yada 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 whatever not gonna get too deep into that but i don't i don't drink it I'm not going to drink yours. I'm not going to drink mine. I'm not going to drink your mom's. Nothing. So she brings up this black mug. And you know, if you put like any type of juice into a darker cup, it's going to transfer to that color. Like if you put water in a black mug, the water is going to look black because of the color of the mug. So she gave me this mug and I really don't drink off of people. I don't eat off of people. And looking at this house, I'm like, I'm not putting my lips on this. Like, you must got a straw or something that I can use. But I didn't want to say that. Because when she asked me for to get water, usually I thought she was going to get, like, a bottle of water. Because that's what I do. When people come to my house, if you want to want some water, I'm going to give you a bottle of water. So, the black cup sat there. The water in the cup wasn't black. I was like, if this is clear water in a black mug, it's supposed to look dark. This is looking real yellow, swampish. Mm-mm not interested and i was like this must this gotta be i like put two into the guys like this is probably like the faucet water so before she hands me the black cup i'm like can i use your bathroom and she's like sure it's over there to the left why did i turn on the faucet and the water that was in the cup was the same water that was coming out of the faucet dirty brown and yellow mucusy water you're trying to kill me you're trying to eliminate me, and I don't appreciate it. First, I come to your house, and you have all the shit on the walls. Then, suddenly, your pet snake gets loose. You're feeding me death wish water. I go to wash my hands, and I'm damn near washing my hand in the Louisiana swamps. Now, you want me to come back to your room so we can eat snacks. Y'all, it was so freaking quiet in there. We actually ended up turning on um, a movie, and thank God the pack of Cheetos was individually wrapped <laughs> because I was hungry and uh, my throat was dry. So I'm sitting here eating these Cheetos with a dry ass throat, like trying to look for water. The damn pet snake got clear frost water, clear geyser water sitting right by the tank. I'm about to jam drink the damn snake water. At this point, how come the snake got clear geyser water and I gotta drink the Louisiana swamp water? This is not right. So we're watching the movie. I mean, we're not watching a movie. We're watching the commercials. Everything's cool. Everything's chill. Everything's going good. All of a sudden, Fifty Shades of Grey um, commercial pops on. And her mom comes out of nowhere. Y'all, I swear to God, when I walked in this house, there was nobody there. Like, it was so fucking quiet in this house. Like... There couldn't, I didn't even hear anybody breathing. I didn't hear nobody move. I didn't even hear her mom walk into the room. I was like, this is some, th I can't do this. I can't do this. And my dumb ass was still there. As she came in the room, she was like, why the f are you watching this? I told you I do not want you watching this. And I don't even know why the hell you have my DVD player in your mother room. And I was like, it was like she didn't even see me. <laughs> She went straight past me. And the mom was like, oh, <laughs> I thought this was my DVD, but um, yeah, girl. She was like, oh, hi, how are you? I didn't even know you were here. I didn't even hear anybody come in. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You had, there was no way she didn't hear me come in because I'm talking, like I don't talk loud. I, talk, I have a real soft voice, but unless your daughter comes in and talks to herself every day after school until she gets up to her room, and I was like, I don't even want to think about that. But anyways, 
um, she was like, you know what, girls, I'm so sorry about that. You know what, I'm going to make it up to you guys. And then she just walks out. I'm like, okay, maybe her mom's just home, whatever, whatever like that. We're sitting here talking. It gets real awkward because we're talking about our extracurricular activity. Then we realize that we don't actually talk to each other in our extracurricular activity. So I thought that her mom was playing about making it up. But she yells on the hallway, um, come on, guys, you guys can come down to my room so we can watch Fifty Shades of Grey. And I'm looking at the girl. The girl's looking at me. I'm looking at the girl. The girl's looking at me. And she's like, moms, you know, they get on your fucking nerves, don't they? I was just like, N no, um, my, mom, my, my mom doesn't act like that. And she's like, whatever. So she's like, okay, ready to go? And I was like, ready to go where? And she's like, oh, to my mom's room. So I was just like, ooh, do we have to go? So we end up getting there and going to her room and I don't even end up sitting on the bed because like I'm sketched out. I don't like sitting anywhere with my street clothes on because my mom would have slapped me silly if I would have sat on her bed with my street clothes. And so she's like, get it, come on, get comfortable. I was like, um, I'm okay, I'm okay. And I, I don't know, she was just like, okay. Um, so we start, they, she plays the movie and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, what is happening? Like, let's, ex uh, let's, let's all together on this video right now access all the details on what the f is going on. You, you have me getting lost on a bus. This girl offered me to come to her house. Her mom acting crazy. The posters, the loose pet snake, the crickets, the swamp water, the um death juice the um invitation to watch 50 shades of gray i want to watch 50 shades of gray with my mom your mom our mom <laughs> my aunts none of that like i feel like that's like weird like why i don't want to watch people having sex with <laughs> my family it's not happening never um so that it was just really off and so we were sitting there and the movie didn't start and all of a fucking sudden her fucking dad rolls in like a fucking root bear barrel on the floor up to the bed screaming like yes i finally got it yada 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 like i got i got the loan or whatever like that we're about to buy this boat we're going to sell this boat for like five days baby and then the daughter's just sitting there like oh they're just so aggravating i'm like is this like normal i don't know how to feel about this he was like oh oh how, i didn't know nobody was in here y'all once again when i walked in this motherfucking house it was so fucking quiet there was no way like it wasn't that big of a house but it was big but i would have heard something so him just rolling in on the floor like that took me like back and we're sitting there the movie finally starts and i'm texting my mom like where the f are you <laughs> no i'm like mom what time are you getting off like are you almost off are you almost off work she's like mia leave me the hell alone like i'm, I'm trying to get off work i wasn't gonna tell her anything about this whole situation because my mom would have brung the roof down there would be no more house there would be no more parents there would be no more anything and I didn't need that. So um, she was like, nobody told your stupid ass to get lost anyways. <laughs> That's something my mom would have said. You should have never got lost in the first place. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes I'm like, what time are you getting off? Even though I know exactly what time she's getting off. I'm trying to make the time go by faster. So we're sitting here watching a movie and it's just fucking gross. It's gross. They're like, the mom, and it's the mom. The mom's like, what I wouldn't do to be young again. You know, back then I can do all that stuff. The dad's like, okay, honey, hush, hush. The daughter's like, mom, can you please shut the f up? And then so they're watching the movie. I'm just really just looking around the room, making sure nothing is like happening. Cause I, I'm not gonna say that like they were giving me those vibes, but they were giving something. <laughs> like not like this is about to be a situation, but they were giving this could be a situation. So, I'm just on the edge of this fucking bed, and I'm trying to get the fuck up out of here, <laughs> and it just gets weirder and fucking weirder, y'all. Like, I just feel the energy in this room just fucking, like, suffocate me, 
and I'm just sitting there and we're still watching a movie. They're watching a movie like this is like the Titanic or like a family friendly movie and everything's okay when it wasn't. And my mom finally texted me so I was like, yes, thanks. I'm getting the out. So <laughs> downstairs. And this is why it's funny, y'all, because I'm so stupid. I get downstairs, my mom was like, I can't with you. I really can can't with you. I can't with you. Pay attention. So she's driving literally right around the corner. My house was around the corner. I didn't have to go through all that. I, I honestly did it. If I would have just looked around and not be ditzy AF, I could have been at my house. So if you guys like this story time, please like, comment, and subscribe, and comment below what you guys want to see more of, like what kind of other story times y'all want to hear from me. I have like a whole bunch, and I don't want to just drop them. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, like, comment, subscribe, comment below what was your favorite part, and don't be messy, y'all, and try to figure out who I'm talking about, because I'm not telling you guys. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching.